about 20 degrees below normal this afternoon, Patrick. So going to uh, not be a great start to the week. If you have uh, it off for a vacation day, you want to plan on those indoor activities, especially this morning here as we track the rain moving in that rain widespread along the coast already this morning. So if you're westerly to South Kingstown, Narragansett, up through Exeter, you've got your windshield wipers on traveling along 95. That's a case too. It's a little spottier and lighter the further north that you go at the moment, but the rain going to be filling in as we widen out the view. You can see a heavy rain and thunder passing to the south of us, New York City. I'm going to keep an eye on some of that heavy rain that's moving through that area right now as it tries to move east and northeast. So I don't have any severe weather in the forecast for today. It's going to be rainy cool and brisk Tuesday drier, but still with mostly cloudy and cool conditions and then getting back to uh, at least closer to normal highs by Wednesday. Temperature is outside right now, low and mid 60s at the moment, but that is where we will stay today. Low pressure going to be pushing to our south. It's that low that's bringing us the rainy and cool weather along with the persistent northeast wind. Here's a future cast showing some of that heavy rain at 9 o'clock in the morning, continuing to see it through at least early afternoon. Then second half of the day looking at lighter showers drizzle and mist, so still going to be kind of an indoor activities kind of afternoon, 9 o'clock in the evening. A lot of clouds overnight, a little bit of mist and drizzle. Tomorrow morning starts off mostly cloudy. We'll see some breaks in the clouds at times, especially later in the afternoon, but still the chance for a light shower or some mist on Tuesday. So uh, again, another cool day, but not as chilly as today. Rain develops for the morning commute. Wipers on and lights on. Some of that rain heavy at times. The temperatures this afternoon, mid 60s Narragansett as well as uh, Westerly and Hope Valley, low 60s in Woonsocket, about 60 in Burrowville. Normal high is in the low 80s. We're in the low to mid 60s in Attleboro, Seekonk, as well as New Bedford this afternoon with gusts up to 30 miles per hour. The beaches, a chilly rain and fog with a moderate rip current risk. Small craft advisory on Narragansett Bay. High tides at 818 this morning and those gusts up to 20 knots on the bay. Tonight down to 58. Cloudy, cool and misty. Mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow. Again, much of the day is going to be dry. The temperatures, though, still only in the 60s to near 70 degrees. We'll be closer to 80 for your high on Wednesday, Thursday. Daytime looking dry. Thursday night into Friday tracking a cold front. That front could bring some rain and thunder. Potential that it lasts most of the day on Friday, so we'll keep you updated on that. The weekend right now upcoming and looking like we'll get back to some drier weather. No excessive heat, though, after last week's heat wave. I don't see any of that in the forecast through the next seven days. Your full future cast is always available right on your mobile device.